So once you open up Microsoft Project, this is what you see. And in order to start a new project and to start working with a project, you can go around over here on a blank project section right here to start everything from scratch. Once you do that, this is what you see right here. On the top, you see the timeline as you can see, and on the bottom, you can see uh, the different views right here. But what you want to go around and do is you might want to start around with the task names by allocating it around over here. So let's say I'm going to go around and make a production plan for a short film. So uh, in that case, I'm going to go around and add in the task right here. For example, brainstorm right here. Brainstorm uh, concept just like this. So this is going to be my first, uh, my first task name right here. So brainstorm concept will be the first right here. And after that, I'm going to go around and add in, let's say, for example, um, I'm going to go around and say um, uh, uh, storyline right here. So storyline writing, just like this. So once I do that, I'm just going to go around and then correct this out as well. So this is the second task. And after that, I'm going to go around and add in the third task right here, script writing. So this is going to be the third task right here, script writing. And then after that, I'm going to go around and say this is going to be uh, storyboarding right here. So once you do that, I'm going to go around and say uh, shooting. So this is going to be shooting and then editing and then publishing right here, just like this. So this is what I have, as you can see. And let's say I'm going to go around, increase the duration right here. For So for brainstorming, it is going to be three days. And you can see that it actually pops up right here. This is the time right here. And you can see that you can change around the date by clicking and dragging this little thing right here, which denotes when um, a certain tasks start and finish. And you can also go around and then from over here, you can go around and select out, let's say, for example, you can go around onto January and 14 and uh, everything arranges out accordingly. You can see that you can also go around and dynamically click and drag this around right here. So this is what you have. So let me just go into three days right here. So after that, uh, let's say the storyline writing is going to be four days and the script writing is going to be five days. Storyboarding to be, let's say, for example, 10 days. Shooting, let's just uh, keep around 25 days, editing around uh, 30 days right here and publishing will be 15 days. And similarly, you can see all of the tasks being lined around in the Gantt chart. So now you can go around over here. This is 17th, as you can see right here. So let's say I'm going to go around to 17 for this one and you can see that it starts lining up right here. So I'm just going to go around over here and select 18 for this one. And uh, you can see the finish date according to the duration that we selected. So I'm just going to go around, select 23 right here. So Friday the 23rd right here. And after that, I'm going to go around and select out, let's say for example, 23rd right here. But you can see that uh, since this is five days right here, so this is 27th. So I'm just going to go around and select 27th right here, just like this and so forth. You can see that it starts getting aligned around right here. So this is 17 and then there's 23. So this has got to be 24 right here. So let's just arrange it out so that it well aligns out in days. Let me just zoom this out so that you can see everything in detail and you can move the scroll bar over here as well. So once you do that, I'm going to go around on to 30 right here, just like this. So let's go to 31. And then after that, I'm going to go around over here on to February right here, and I'm going to say 14 right here. So once you go around onto 14, there's 20, as you can see right here. And from 20, this is going to be 21 um, right here. So there's 20 and then 21 uh, around over here. So there's 20. And that, that, that's on March. That's why it is overlapping. So this is going to be March and it's going to be March 21 right here. So once you go around and do that over here at the end, I am around in the uh, uh, fifth month, as you can see right here, January, February, March, April, and May, and then I'm going to say 24th right here. So once you do that, you can see that every date arranges, but you can see that I selected a bit more later right there. So this is going to 5-1, and what you can also do is you can just go around, copy out this cell, and then you can paste it out over here as well, so that you can go around and adjust it out right here. So this is what you have, as you can see right here. And instead of uh, one, let me just go around, add in two, and there you go. You got the start and finish line right here. 
So this is what you have and you got a Gantt chart ready as you can see right here and you got all of the timings aligned right here. So you got the tasks uh, listed out and then you got the duration, you selected it out right here and then you set the uh, start and uh, finish right here. And similarly, you can go around and keep on adding in tasks to prepare out a Gantt chart easily just like this. And that is how you can go around and then start a new project and quickly add in tasks and task title right here and the timeline for it and everything gets generated out just like this. If I were to go around onto other views right here, similarly you can see that there's different ways of how this is displayed out. So over here you can see the brainstorming and everything out right here in a different view and so forth as you can see just like this. So that is how you can start a new project and then quickly add in tasks and task titles in Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.